Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this is a lesson on Rocky Raccoon. I'm also using my uh, cube. So these are the settings on the cube so that you can uh, mimic that. I'm using an X-Vive. It's a U2 uh, receiver, battery powered. You can see it at the end of my guitar. These things work really, really nicely. Um, they're really, really good tools. So uh, that's that. This is Rocky Raccoon. So I'm going to play a little bit of this. And uh, this is what I call a circle song. It has four chords and they just circle. Just four chords over and over with an A minor, a D7, a G, and a C. And it just keeps going over and over and over in a circle. So this is what I mean by a circle song. A minor. <laughs> just below this dot, so that's important. B flat, B, C, another important chord in this song. C sharp, D. This is important, but we're just going to use a variant of this D. We're going to use a D7, and I'll show you how to make that in a minute. D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, and it just keeps going and going and going. So this song has, like I said, four chords in it. It has an A minor, so if you pinch your A, which is right here, and then put your pinky on the C. That makes the minor. You don't have to. You can do it just in A, and that is totally fine. Okay? But if you choose to, that gives it a little more flavor. Um, flavor and voicing and these things are my way of saying different. So it makes it a little different. And the thing I like about this is when I go to my D7, I just replace my pinky with my first finger. And that makes the transition easier because it's quite a big jump from here to here. So a D7 looks like so. So it's a D, it's an A, and it's a C. Then there's a G chord and you take your first finger and you just move it right there. So from here, to here, and then you just move your pinky. Okay, so that's a G. And it would look like um, seven, five, seven. And then C. Now if you notice, I do this progression to the A minor, and I just hit that C, and then I put my finger down, or I do it this way, however you want to do it. So C, jangle, 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 B, jangle, 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 A minor. So that's how I do it. And I'm going to do this one more time, because once you get the pattern, it doesn't change any. So the rhythm is boom. And it 
does it twice. So A minor, two, three, to the D7, right? Replace. Now we're going to make the G, remember? Move your finger to there, move your pinky over. Now your first finger is going to come across the bar. Now you come down one to that B, from C to B right there. You can use that finger or this one. Because what you're doing is, is basically keeping this C chord and just kind of moving to these two notes. Okay, so that's a G and that's a C. And you're just moving from C to B. So it would look like four, five, five. So. more a walk you're walking down the ladder if you know me and know my teaching style I believe the guitar is set up like a ladder you walk up the ladder or you walk down the ladder we're walking down the ladder step down the ladder step down the ladder to A first finger replaces pinky that one, move your pinky, C, B with a C, A minor, it just keeps going over and over and over, it will never ever change, okay, absolutely the song will not change, it does the same pattern, so it's a bass, treble, 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 bass, I did that a little different. I went from this shape here to here, and some people think that's easier to go this way, and then make your A minor. It's totally up to you how you catch this. So we're on G, C, B with a C, A minor. You can do it C, G, third finger, it all depends what your style is and, and how you like to approach things. Uh, many people have a stronger ring finger than they do a first finger and this is how I would approach it. So like I said it's a circle. So beginners what I would do is, is I would get this pattern down. Just keep getting this pattern down. Play it during a football game or play it during uh, the kids are playing out in the, in the fields. Or you got some time, just keep playing this over and over until you can talk over it. Because that's the beauty of this song is that it has an opening talking part. And that's the reason I'm talking over it now, is to show you that you should be able to play this song completely talking over it. technique and getting your chords exactly right. Uh, it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And there's going to be a time in your career playing music, someone will ask you for Rocky Raccoon. I virtually guarantee it. And it's probably only happened to me 
uh, 10 or 12 times, but I've been playing for 47 years. So playing guitar for 47 years, I've been asked for Rocky Raccoon. And the times that I've been asked, I absolutely had to deliver. So have this song in your arsenal. Keep it in your pocket. Uh, you can play it many, many times. No one gets tired of hearing Rocky Raccoon. No one. So just keep that in mind. And uh, like I said, I uh, right here is my uh, cube. And these are the settings. So you will need to look at that again. Here, I'll get this out of the way. You can look at my settings, and that'll tell you where I'm at tone-wise. And uh, enjoy Rocky Raccoon. It's a super cool song. And, you know, like I said, everybody, everybody loves it. And I want to thank you so much for everything you guys do for me. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Down below, I have a PayPal link. It's a PayPal dot me forward slash uncle mark tips thank you for donating thank you for helping me out it really helps keep the lights on and the heat on and everything going on in here and uh i also um a buck a show is all we're asking here i have a, a facebook page cigar bx blue come and check that out that's where i post a lot of videos that i don't put on youtube uh thank you so much for everything you do for me and uh we'll talk soon